Yo guys, what's up and welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how Weezy makes crazy samples in the style of the baby and the dark. So first I'm going to show you all the sample, then I'm going to break it down and show you all how I mix it. And after that I'm going to make a beat to the sample. So make sure to stay till the end. Make sure to leave a like and a comment because I'm going to give away my all kids bundle to three commenters under the video. Make sure to subscribe as well. And yeah guys, let's go. <laughs> So I started off with this contact bank, which is named The Gentleman. I laid down this pretty simple piano pattern, it's pretty repetitive, and I randomized the velocities just to make it sound more interesting and to make it sound more realistic. Make sure to leave it a bit repetitive and then change it up in the last part, because that's how most of these little baby samples are built like. And this is the finished piano pattern that I laid down. And for the effects on this piano, I had this J37 stereo with the MHB Rhodes Whirly preset. And I tweaked it a bit, I think I turned down the saturation and I tweaked some other settings. Then for the next thing, we had this Fruity Delay 3 with these basic settings. I tweaked the wet, the level and the cutoff. Then we had this Valhalla Vintage Web where I tweaked the mix, the decay and the low cut. And I had it on the mode chorus space. Then we had the Soothe just to get rid of all the unwanted frequencies. And we had this EQ just to cut out some of the lows. Then for the next thing, we had Contact again with the Admiral World 6 Bang and the Folk Violin Key preset. And I laid down this pretty simple and repetitive pattern again. It's basically just these triplets and they're playing at the end of each four bars. And for the second part, I just pitched the same notes up one octave just to make it sound more interesting and give it like a highlight feeling. And this is how the finished violin pattern is sounded like. And then for the effects on this violin, it's pretty simple. I just had the slow cut and I panned it a bit to the left. Then for the next thing, we had Miroslav Philharmonic. And I picked this preset. And I laid down this pretty simple and repetitive pattern again. And as you can see, I switched it up in the end of each two bars just to make it sound more interesting. I randomized the velocities again. And this is how the finished pattern is sounding like. And for the effects on this violin, I had this RC20 just for the wobble and the EQ. Then I had this Valhalla Vintage Wrap where I tweaked the mix and the decay. Then this simple Soothe just to get rid of all the unwanted and unnecessary frequencies. And I had this EQ where I cut out a lot of the lows and some of the low mids. I pan it a bit to the left and put it 27% in stereo. And for the next thing, I had this Bell 3 one shot from Otis. And I laid down this pretty simple pattern. I switched it up in the second part and randomized the velocities. And this is how the finished pattern is sounding like. And I know the pattern sounds pretty weird, but in the overall sample it's just there to give it some texture and it works pretty well. And then for the effects on this bell we had Portal with this preset. Then I had this Walala Vintage Web where I tweaked the mix and the decay. Then I had this free parametric EQ just to cut out a lot of the lows and a lot of the highs. As I said, just to duck it more into the background. Then I had this Soothe just to get rid of all the unwanted frequencies. And I pan it a bit to the right. Then for the next thing we had this Atmos 2 from Otis again. And it fitted pretty well just to give it some texture as well. And its atmosphere sound is sounding like this. And for the effects on this atmosphere sound, I just had the simple soothe just to get rid of all the unwanted frequencies. Then I had this EQ where I took out a frequency I didn't like. And I had this EQ where I took out a lot of the lows and a lot of the highs. Then for the last thing, which is the bass, I had this bass 6 from Autos again. Make sure to check out his one shot kits, they're pretty fire. And I laid down this pretty simple pattern. It's just a root notes from the piano with a few switch ups and a few slides. And the finished bass line is sounding like this. And for the effects on this bass, I just had this simple decapitator where I tweaked the drive and I put it on E. And then I had this EQ where I took out some of the muddy lows and I put it 100% in mono. Then after that, I rendered the sample out, normalized it, pitched it down by one, put the mode on stretch and the declicking mode on generic. And this is how the finished sample is sounding like. I 
I'll just open up the FOP to make the beat in. And I'm going to show you how to get a nice bounce for these 4PF type of beats. And make sure to comment something down below to enter the giveaway. And now I'm going to show you how I made the beat. So now I just finished making the beat and the first thing I did was laying down these heights and it looks like a pretty complex pattern. But to be honest, I can't really tell you how I make my height patterns. I just lay down what I think would fit and it sounds pretty nice and the finished height pattern is sounding like this. Then for the next thing I had this recycled clap from my stash kit and I just had this basic clap pattern which sounds like this. Then after that I had this Jacob snap from my stash kit again and I laid on a pretty repetitive snap pattern which matches the 808 pretty good and this is how the finished snap pattern is sounding like. Then I had this short open head with this basic pattern and this reverse open head with this basic pattern and the whole drum loop without the 808 is sounding like this. Then for the last thing I laid down this 808 pattern which is a pretty basic 808 pattern for these 4PF type of beats and as you can see I had this triplet 808 right here then these 808s right here, and the full beat with the 808 pattern and the drum loop is sounding like this. So yeah guys, if y'all enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like and to subscribe to my channel. And make sure to leave a comment to enter the giveaway for my all kids bundle. Make sure to check out my socials, the links for that will be in my description. And yeah guys, see y'all.